Okay, Tim Davies, welcome to Fast Ship Performance. Today we're looking at a three-ship formation takeoff of Hawk T2s from runway 13 at RF Valley. We've powered up now and we trimmed the power back on the T6. It's a measurement we use, which is uh, the temperature of the T6 turbine to about 800 degrees centigrade now. It gives us a bit of flexibility for maneuverability. Looking across the rear of the aircraft with the flight lead there, we are in the number two position on the right and number three is there as an aircraft on the left-hand side. We're all accelerating now, just put my visor down, which we need to have. And uh, we were looking for about 100 knots by the yellow dots there. As long as we've got 100 knots, the aircraft are accelerating sufficiently and we don't need to abort the takeoff. As we approach about 125 knots, we raise that nose wheel off the ground to present the aircraft to the airflow and we get airborne. Positive rate of climb, wait for the leader to travel his gear. There you go, gear travels. Our gear will now travel with pause, there's number three, and we'll travel our flaps as well from half to up. Now we'll check that the gear is up by 200 knots and the flaps are up by 250 knots, which is their limiting speed. Then we'll check that the central warning panel where all the warnings are, are out, should have nothing lit there. We'll check that the auxiliary power units, which is illuminated by green APU lettering, is off. Sometimes we use it in the summer to call the avionics. And we'll check that we have what's called a master AB, which is associated with the master arm selector switch and it allows us to jettison weapons or, or stores or if indeed fire them that needs to be armed. As we're about to go through cloud, we're going to remain in echelon as a three ship as you penetrate this low level of Stratus. And when we get above this then, uh, we'll maintain our references until he moves us out through a hand signal into Arrow. You may notice that the anti-coals on his aircraft are flashing red. We use those for domestic formations, which are Echelon, Vic, Arrow. They're getting in and out of airfields, but when we fight the aircraft, we move them into tactical formations and the lights go to white. And those tactical formations are Fighting Wing and Battle. Arrow is about 75 yards, Fighting Wing is about 250 yards, and they both allow us the flexibility as a leader to manoeuvre the formation. Right, well that's pretty much it then. As you can see in the rear cockpit then, I have three TVs or MFDs they're called, and uh, I'm using my head-up display on the centre one. The front cockpit actually has a head-up display as well. Guys, really appreciate you uh, taking the time. Take care, Tim Davies.